The Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 may have finally been revealed and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So a week since my last video and we finally have the design of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 being revealed. It may not be what everyone expected, but I think it may grow on us with time. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're looking forward to the Galaxy Fold 2 and if not, then let me know in the comments what you think of this reveal. So we had a shock yesterday when well-known and reliable Lee Karais Universe shared with us what may be the final design of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and it's probably not what you expected. While many were quick to try and shut the leak down, there is a very good reason for it and it is of course the cameras. There unfortunately isn't enough space internally to have a camera on the front and the back in the same place and this positioning does solve that issue. Even I said himself that he thought the positioning was strange until he did give it some thought. He then provided us with a second image that illustrates what he meant. It can't be in the top right because of the rear camera, it can't be on the left hand side of the screen as the front cover camera is there, so they've gone with the center of the right hand side. Many are also asking why it couldn't be in the top left of the Galaxy Fold 2 and this is of course a very good question. My only thinking is that maybe it's not a good position for taking selfies when you have the screen fully open. If you think about it, on a normal phone with the cell camera in the top left or the top right, it is still relatively close to the center, whereas on the Galaxy Fold it's going to be far away from the center, so it may be awkward for taking selfies. Although we have actually seen this in the past with tablets like Huawei's MatePad Pro and I haven't heard anyone complain about that. So it's a bit of a hard situation now as my brain says that it cannot be right, but then Ice Universe is a very reliable leaker. He's normally very vague if he doesn't have all the details, so for him to come out and say it like this, then he must be pretty certain and he does have a decent track record. It's not going to be too much longer until we have this confirmed by Samsung, and as always, some other leakers are going to probably chip in and either agree or disagree. It's also important to remember that sometimes leaks can be wrong, they can come from an earlier prototype that was changed or for many other reasons. So if a leaker is wrong, it doesn't mean they're lying, it just means that the information they were given was incorrect. Something we did have confirmed however is that Samsung is unveiling a new service called Paycard. They've teamed up with Curve and Mastercard to provide a finance system to link with your bank cards and allow for viewing and analysis of your payments. Given its announcement this morning, it's no doubt going to be available on the Galaxy Fold 2. But the Galaxy Fold 2 is coming very soon soon and as expected it's going to be part of an online only launch event. The event is going to be for the Note 20, the Z Flip and the Fold 2 and pretty much all leakers are agreeing that it's going to be on the 5th of August. While all the phones are going to be launched together, there's unfortunately new news that the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to face a delay of release. The Galaxy Fold 2 was meant to be available shortly after the official launch and the trailer were released but it's no longer going to be happening. The Galaxy Fold 2 has not yet reached their final version of its bootloader so it's just not going to be ready in time. It's a software issue so it's not going to be too problematic but it means we will see a delay and reports are suggesting that mass production is going to begin in August instead of the planned July. When it comes to the pricing though, we had news early on that the Galaxy Fold 2 should be around $1800. The news did however come from Ross Young who has been incorrect a couple of times. To be fair though, he was giving leaks very early on so things may have just changed. Also with the actual release being delayed by a month, we don't know if this is going to have any effect on costings. For anyone who's interested though, we're going to run through all of the details of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video but if you're new here then make sure you hit subscribe and we're going to get right into it. One of the largest rumors currently floating around the web is that the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be the first device from Samsung to have an in-display selfie camera. Well, this would actually make sense given that it is a luxury device with a very high price tag. It appears it's just not going to happen yet. Credible leaker Ice Universe has already advised on Twitter that Samsung is considering this technology for debut in the S21. He advises that Samsung are currently evaluating its feasibility for the S21, so there's just no way it's going to be ready in time for the Galaxy Fold 2. 
the outer design of the Galaxy Fold 2 is also reported to be very similar to its predecessor but with a larger external display. Although the whole industry has been experiencing delays due to the current outbreak, we're still expecting mass production to begin mid-May and commercial units should be ready by June. Many are speculating that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be releasing alongside the Note 20 in August, so it's not too much longer until we find out. We've had plenty of other concepts for the device from people such as OnLeaks and Concept Creator, and they all look incredible. The future of folding phones is looking very promising and the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be in a similar form factor as the original Fold, but it's going to be even more premium. A patent was previously filed by Samsung and it reveals a foldable device with a slightly different form factor than the original Fold. It's more of a Galaxy Tab with a folding form factor and with this design we get a much larger display and a better aspect ratio for both media and gaming. The pattern also reveals a full screen display when unfolded, so this is where the rumours of the in-display camera originally came from. Of course, while in-display cameras do seem very unlikely at this time, it's not impossible and nothing's been confirmed just yet. The early leaks came from a South Korean publication who advised the whole design of the Galaxy Fold 2 was aimed at having a tablet but with portability. It's reportedly going to be designed to fit comfortably in pockets but still provide a large enough display. The Galaxy Fold 2 can supposedly be used in the form of a mini laptop by resting the bottom on the surface and folding up the top and we then have a display on top with a keyboard on the bottom. Previous reports were also stating that Samsung was switching to using ultra thin glass instead of the transparent polymide we were used to and this glass was said to be capable of using an S Pen. Now this is where the confusion originally came from as these reports were published prior to the launch of the Z Flip so we had less information about ultra thin glass. We now know that in its current form it's not able to support an S Pen so I advise it to disregard these rumours. When it comes to the hardware and the specification, we of course will get the 512 gigs of internal storage and this will of course be UFS 3. We expect this to be coupled with 16 gigs of RAM and it's of course going to use the new Snapdragon 865. We'll likely get some decent cameras but media is going to be the main target audience rather than photography. A device that folds out into a large tablet is great for watching media, gaming or even doing some editing but having a large device is not the best choice for a portable camera. The patent doesn't confirm that this is the Galaxy Fold 2 or that this is ever going to make it to market but it does seem a very sensible design that could take off if it does. We know that despite their initial issues, Samsung are continuing to push their foldable devices. We've already had the launch of the new W20 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. With each release, they're improving the issues they face and they're becoming much more durable products. Unfortunately, being a luxury product, it also means it is going to come with a luxury price tag, although the price of the new Galaxy Fold 2 is still very much unknown. With the launch expected to be July or August, it's not going to be long until we do get some information and as always, I'll be sharing it with you guys as it comes in. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there wants a Galaxy Fold 2 and what do you think of this new design? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.